Hey, what's up, guys? It's Rising Duelist here. We got Conan Bannon and we got our boy Chillfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, today we're gonna talk about like something that we all want. We love reprints. I, I doubt anybody in the community does not have at least one or two cards that, that they want to be reprinted. Come back, whether it's a common rarity, whether it's mm -hmm. a max rarity certain cards. We're not gonna talk about max rarity certain cards. That'll no. be a whole different video that we may have to do some research on mm -hmm. to really think about that. These are decks that. Even if they're not relevant, they're decks that I think could become relevant or even just become more fun to play with if they got the reprints. Yeah. Um, Invoke just got the reprints yeah. officially announced, mm -hmm. which is nice because that's another deck that was really expensive for the fusion set. And that's the thing too, a lot of these sets that we want reprints to come in, they were a very small pocket set that had nothing. Yeah, and they barely, have... they never got other reprints before. But these are decks that aren't really gonna be meta impactful, but they're decks that, like, you know what, I wanna play this deck, but I don't wanna throw money down the, the well, so to speak, mm -hmm. to play a deck that's not even gonna get me in a good position. Oh yeah, true, true. Well, The first thing I'll talk about is just Necroz. I think Necroz need a reprint. <laughs> I think Necroz need to come off the ban list, first of all. But second of all, they need a reprint, because they're just so expensive. Um, it's really hard to even play casual. I do think that Rituals could be a decent thing in this format. I mean, the links are really popular right now. Rituals can still do a lot of things, but Necroz is the best link deck, or um, Ritual deck, and they yeah, are true. hella expensive. And yeah. just for just because of lack of printing and lack of availability, which is the big reason for a lot of these decks that we're talking about that need well, to be Well, yeah, it's, it, we're, you were seeing the same thing with the cross, which was happening with Sky Strikers right now, how expensive <laughs> the cards are because of how short printed they are. And who knows when Konami's gonna reprint the ones that just came out. But yeah, so we're that's gonna, for another day. We're gonna talk about those. Moving <laughs> on from that, old, older decks that need a reprint, Madolche. Please tell me why Magellan is still like a $15 card. I understand Tiramisu being expensive as an ultimate rare. U ultimate rares are always forgivable in my opinion yeah. because they are hard to get, especially now that they're not doing ultimate rares anymore, I think. Yeah, they only do it for the OTS. So, but how can a super rare card that the Madolches, if you look at Madolches now that people are playing it, they only run Magellan at one. Because it's so expensive. Because it's so and expensive, it's not even, you know? Yeah. Another deck, uh, true to my heart, and I definitely agree with this. It got one reprint card last year in Battles of Legend. Um, Mermails. Mermails can be reprinted. I would encourage more people to play the deck. It's really fun. It's very competitive. I think it's a very skillful deck mm -hmm. to begin with, and I just think that's a really fun deck. And people want to play for fun. Um, Teuses are still the regular Teuses are still expensive. Get the reprints for really cheap. Uh, Megalos, even the commons are like two hundred dollars oh, yeah. cheaper than uh -huh. the secrets and everything. And not even just that, like if you wanted to go max rarity, I'm not gonna talk about max rarity stuff, but just, it's just hard to find all of these cards, and because of the hype, it's it, is, it can be kind of expensive, it's just not worth it. Another one, uh, the, these got a little bit of uh, reprints, but I still think they need more. The Crystal Beast got a couple, mm -hmm. they still need more, because you still have cards like, what is it, Crystal, um, Crystal release or whatever the one, yeah, like that release. one hasn't been reprinted at all. Um, the the random ones that got the secret rare treatment in some of their um, the packs, like crystal release, mm -hmm. uh, crystal bond, and all that kind of good stuff, need reprints because they're just so expensive. Very and again, expensive. these For are no decks, reason. This deck the de sucks. The deck is not going to be very powerful. Like another card that whenever com this is just kind of a blanket statement, but whenever a deck like Goki, I'm just going to pick on huh. that has a deck that comes out of nowhere and a lot of these really cool cards like. Butter Spy and Junk Forward, which are ridiculously silly cards that only matter to one deck, but they're so expensive. Hey, yep. Those need to get reprinted like almost mm -hmm. immediately. They're um, a little too slow when it comes to these reprints. reprints. I think yeah. even I think we're even due for a firewall reprint, to be completely honest. Firewall's at one, guys. It's still maintaining a 20-ish to 30-ish price tag. Yep. It's guys. It's a protagonist card. There should be like, by this point, there should be like four other copies of this card already out in circulation, and yep. there's just not. And yeah, it's one, it's not that expensive to get, but if you think about it, everybody should have access to this card, and $30 to $25 could be a deterrent for a lot of players. Yeah. Let's talk about that real quick. We need a real Ash reprint, Super not this Ash. stupid crap with, you know, the short print arguments and the ultra rares and everything. That card should just be it. Other than that, I honestly, I like, think those, like, these, are, those, these are those are the things. ones that we're thinking those about. Like, ones, like, yeah. Let us down below. There's way too many cards in Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> it's so hard like, to think like, about. Like, all like, like, please tell us down below what do you guys think are some other good reprints, whether it's an archetype, whether it's a specific card that should come back, whether it's. Or maybe we should give some cards that they're only commons, this, like better reprints. Yeah, if like I, Ghost Tricks, make them look nicer, because I like Ghost, Ghost Tricks. Uh, Ghost Tricks are fine, I thought. Yeah, yeah, Ghost Tricks would be pretty. I even think, you know, Kyoto Waterfront could be reprinted as a super. Super, that would look really. That'd be a really pretty card. Oh yeah, yeah. As as a super and everything, I just think that there should be rarity bumps a little different too. But what do you guys think? Are the cards that you think should be rarity bumped? Cards you think should be rarity down? Cards that just need to come back into circulation? You like just, you just need the reprints, bros. We just we need reprints. That's the one weird thing about Yu-Gi-Oh in the sense is that this is a card game with a very big card pool. Mm -hmm. Yet we need more reprints. So let us know down below, guys. What do you think? Please comment, subscribe, and follow us for more information. It's your boy Chillfish and Kono Bandit. Peace. Peace.